Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to change the color scheme just by referencing the color variables that we defined in the previous video. So first of all, we want to change the background of um, our screen. So in order to do that, we have to be inside this relative layout tag. And I'm just going to go with my mouse cursor over here at the end of the opening tag, just before the right chevron. And I'm going to hit enter. And so I'm just going to type in background. As you can see, the one that we're going to be using is this attribute called Android colon background. And then we're going to just reference this at color uh, resource. And then if you don't remember the name of the color that you want to use and you want to see a list of uh, suggestions, you just can type control space. And so we have all these colors that we just defined in the previous video. And I'm going to be using for the background this color primary. And so as you can see, the color of our um, background just changed and right now I'm just gonna go inside this uh, text view and I'm just gonna change the color of the text so I'm just gonna say text color and this is the attribute that we're gonna be using and I'm just gonna reference again a color variable and the one that I'm gonna be using for text is just this color text and so, as you can see, the changes appear on the screen as well. Okay, and also, I'm just going to change the background for this uh, title because I want to have, um, as you can see right here, when I click on it, it has this um, kind of blue color for the outline. I just want to fill the color uh, of the background for this text box. So, in order to do that, I'm just going to reference background for this uh, text box. And so I'm referencing the color accent this time. So I just have this green color in the background. Okay, and I'm just going to refresh it so that it shows on the screen, as you can see right here. And now I want to change the color for this edit text. So I'm just going to go in this edit text. And so I'm typing text color again. And the color that I want to reference is also the white color which is the color used for text and as you can see no changes appear and that's because the hint has a different attribute for the color and we're gonna be using hint color so text color hint and then we're gonna be referencing also text color and now as you can see we have uh, the white color for the hint and also the white color for the text that's gonna be input by the user and now we're going to this weekly savings and for this one I just want to use the color accent so I'm just going to reference that variable and probably you didn't notice that we have also this color preview over here so basically we don't only have the name of the variables we also have a preview of the color and so I'm just using exactly this color as you can see right here and now for the reset button I'm just gonna be using this um, text color and I'm gonna set it to color text and for the background I'm just gonna say color let's say primary dark in our case it's not darker than the primary color it's just a different tone but that works as well Okay, and now we can just go and do this uh, total text view. And so I'm just going right now and I'm going to put the text color to white. And for the background, because I want to display the result in the background, I'm just going to use our color accent. And so as you can see right now, we have our application is basically um, finished in terms of the graphical user interface so this is the upper part of our application and also we have the lower part right here so basically we have most of the things uh, done for the graphical user interface and we just have to go and implement the functionality so thanks for watching and see you in the next video